Daimler has recalled every Mercedes-Benz car sold in Europe since 2011. It was after German authorities charged the firm with manipulating exhaust controls in its diesel cars. Daimler's emission systems has been under the scrutiny of the German government for a while due to the level of nitrogen oxide its cars emit. The recall will impact at least 3 million vehicles, including the popular C-Class and E-Class Mercedes-Benz. Daimler customers in Europe will now receive letters from the firm inviting them to book their cars into an approved dealership for the emission levels to be fixed. While this will be free of charge for car owners, it will cost the company around $250 million. This might sound a lot, but last year Daimler made a profit of more than $10 billion on revenues of over $176 billion. But Daimler's CEO Dieter Zetsch says this is not the end of its famous diesel engines. We are convinced that diesel engines will continue to be the fixed element of the drive system mix, not least due to their low CO2 emissions. But the German government says nothing is more important than the health of its people. Our position is that it's important to us that the issue be addressed because the air in Germany has to improve. Health risks are tied to the status quo as is known. Volkswagen's emission scandal cost the German car maker more than $24 billion. The company had to recall 11 million diesel cars worldwide. In comparison, Daimler sold 380,000 diesel cars in the US last year. Millions were sold in Europe as well. But whether Daimler will also need to recall its cars in the US is still uncertain. It is already being investigated in the US over diesel emissions. The reputation of diesel cars has suffered since 2015, since Volkswagen admitted to equipping vehicles with illegal software to pass emission tests. And it seems Daimler hasn't done much to lift it back up. Sort of Roy, TRT World. Joining me now from Lisbon is Antonio Ferreira. He's an analyst at the automotive website Carnorama. Thank you so much for joining us again on Money Talks, Antonio. So do you think Daimler could suffer a similar fate to Volkswagen in terms of the scale of the punishment that Volkswagen has received? Good afternoon. Um, at the moment, there's been no official uh, accusations. All of it, there's been um, investigations officially. But so far, Daimler has been very proactive in volunteering, in making these software updates. So that's a major difference between Daimler and Volkswagen. Where the, these, this volunteering, this being proactive towards the problem is positive or negative, I think only time will tell. Um, if it is ordered to pay damages of that sort, though, uh, the, of the sort that Volkswagen had to pay, what effect could that have on Daimler's bottom line? We definitely have a major impact. If you're talking just software updates, uh, yeah, we're talking probably 220 million euros. If it is hardware changes or hardware modifications, those numbers can increase dramatically. But there's, if there's penalties, uh, the same as, as, as Volkswagen, around the same numbers, it can major, have a major impact. And I think some of that money that could have been invested in new technologies would be thrown, thrown away almost towards this, uh, solving this issue. OK, now, Antonio, the broader question in all of this is, what is the future of diesel itself? Why don't all car companies go the way of Volvo, for example, which recently said it's eventually going to ditch internal combustion engines altogether at some point in the future? Especially diesel has been suffering hefty, a hefty price compared with petrol, for example, especially with uh, regulations, especially like Euro 5 and Euro 6 standards. They really have uh, an impact on how diesels uh, are seen in the market as well. Um, it, it's a step-by-step -step, uh, approach. Um, there are going to be pioneers like Volvo. Uh, there's a big, uh, at the moment, a big um, pressure, not only for, from uh, pioneers, but also from governments to uh, cut or reduce as much as possible all internal combustion engines between 2030 and 2050. Uh, the problem is it's got to be a step-by-step because -step the inf infrastructures are not there and the consumers are going to be slowly introduced to new technologies, not only uh, electric vehicles, but also other new technologies as well. Um, final question, looking at how Daimler is positioned in the United States. This could be the big unknown for it. Uh, how important is the United States for Daimler? It's very important, uh, especially from a market size. Uh, and especially when you, they're competing directly with some of the competitors like BMW, like Audi, 
it's it's a premium brand and 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 a market like North America, like the United States, it's very important. Uh, if something happens in the same way as <clears throat> Apple with Volkswagen, it really damages the, the reputation, and not only for present but also the, for future. And I think that's what worrying Daimler at the moment with all of this, uh, what's happening now, is not only in, about the present but also okay. by the future, because. Damon is also investing heavily Antonio, in new technologies and moving uh, your way to Antonio, reason. I think we are, I'm afraid, running out of time. We will love to follow okay. up on this in the future. In the meantime, Antonio Ferreira, auto analyst, thank you so much.